Okay, here you go. I've just uh, made up my swirl filter. It's actually, I've been calling it incredible. It's actually a radial flow filter. Now, because I'm running a pump, not, uh, not a, a tank that overflows, this is my inlet line for my pump. It's going to come in through here, through the bottom, through Uniseal, and come up into the center. And then the lid goes on top, and the water will come out here. And then from there, it'll flow back down underneath this bucket. All the uh, gunk will clip to the bottom, and then back out through this pipe here. So, a slight modification on most of them you see. And uh, it was almost there. I now need to go just go to the hardware store. I've just realised for my outlet, which won't have the plug in it, um, I need uh, a little bit more 20 mil pipe just to join everything up and then we can uh, put it in the system and see if it works. So here goes, moment of truth. Let's start the system side the flow. Okay, so it's pumping into there, sort of gunk already. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, a bit goes on, still there for a moment. And we'll place that one in there. And we'll just see how it goes. So, you can see I've just cut down the other line, joined them together. Just hopefully there'll be no leaks. We'll soon find out. So, what I've done is put a T piece in down there. And it gives a bit of water flow, a bit of movement. Eventually, I'll put the pump in the middle where the big pump is, because as the water spins around, it'll push the, push the solids into the centre. But for the moment, she's just temporary. To make sure it all works, there's no leaks. And there you go, you can see the water's moving. There's a little to go spinning around. That's what we want. So I'll come back in a minute once we've got some water flow. Well, as you can see, the concept's working quite well. Water's dribbling in. And water's coming out. This uni seal is working really well. It was the second one I drilled. My first one though, I drilled and I made a bit of a hack of a mess of it, isn't working so well. And as you can see, it's a dribbling mess. Uh, I think I may have to go back to the hardware store and get another drum and start again. But in theory, it works. So it's, uh, it's running there, I can't leave it running like that unfortunately, because I'll uh, Drain my tank pretty fast with that amount of water coming out. But I'll at least let it uh, it run till we get uh, a flood through. Because they haven't had a flood for a little while. Give them some fresh water, a bit of extra ox oxygen. And uh, back to the hardware store. So, I'm guessing there'll be another video soon uh, with a new bucket. Okay, just back from the hardware store. Um, couldn't get into the bucket, so I've done a, a patch up job. Uh, a bit of vinyl and some hot glue. Now I've used up this system before to patch up tanks where I've put holes in where I didn't need them, then it's worth a treat. So hopefully this will work. I've redrilled the hole, much better, much cleaner. Um, I don't know, you can get a good look at that one. It was pretty ragged. And um, while I was there, I've remodified my, my, my uh, sprout, spout, sprout, spout, so that uh, it's more of a bubbler. So it's always coming over the top. So if I turn it back on now, it's more of a bubble effect. So it's just sort of flows in over the top like that. And then we add the lid. And then that piece over the top, and we're good to go again. So uh, hopefully this time, so far so good, no leaks. So it was just a rough trade, tradesman's work. So that's working fine. So we should be good to go now. So uh, we'll have a look at this again in a couple of days and uh, see how much gunk is sitting at the bottom.